Alright. Greetings and salutations. I'm Zook, your lovable dungeon master, and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons. This is Relics of Ocarid episode eight, I think. Um yeah, uh, sorry, I'm I'm see, I don't have my notes up. I'm I don't joined, have my notes up to tell I'm, you where we're at. <laughs> I'm joined with Kai, Maeve, Hi. and Token, and uh well, uh, a few announcements. Uh, all the music you will hear today is from Kevin McLeod's and Competech. Go to Competech.com and you can find all these tracks that are used all the time. It's all royalty free, so we don't get DMCA striked. Um, <laughs> uh, a lot of the miniatures that you will see today are from Hero Forge. They have a new VTT option. How long can I say it's new before it's no longer it's not new? new. Um, but you can <laughs> import it directly into Tabletop Simulator or other uh, virtual tabletops like Foundry, and I think even Roll20. Um, I have a video on my Geeks Anonymous YouTube, which there should be a link down below if you're watching on Twitch, um, with a li uh, link to my YouTube channel, and you can find uh, a, a tutorial video on how to import them into your games. Uh, really good quality, really good minis. Um, yeah, so do that. Um... Let's see any other uh, announcements on my end i don't think so dave you wanted to say something well i did so it is our eighth session okay by the <laughs> way so to, to confirm i have my notes up and i counted this will be our eighth uh the second one is that it is national trans visibility day Yay! so that's a fun thing and we actually got sushi for hold on i gotta pull up twitch so i can point correctly is it <laughs> i'm in the here? back left corner no it's this way this one yeah no you i'm working the, the it's there you yeah, go yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> on Discord, so. you're, yeah, on Discord, your Discord you're is incorrect. My just, the one that the I viewers know, are watching. I, I know, whatever. My left. We have very <laughs> <own> own <laughs> token. trans person in the bottom left corner. Points uh, are uh, <laughs> With love. <laughs> a gay AF yes. trans mask uh, lovely person that we all cherish very much. Yeah, slightly <laughs> lovely. Well, oh, you thanks. know what? Ever since they also, met I've you, been on TV or... for four months now. Yeah, Yay! Been on four yeah. months. Yeah. It's been four, four months, months already. Yeah, yeah I heard TV at first, and I was wild. like, "Wait a minute, what?" <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Why would you ever want to be on TV?" That's fair. I sure fucking don't. Um, okay. Uh, any other uh, announcements or anything like that that anyone would like to spit out? Uh. The past month has sucked ass. Yeah. Sure fucking has. I really hope all you viewers out there that might be watching this have had a better month than we have. Yeah. Sorry for Somehow... missing the last couple of weeks. Things have been kerfuffled. <laughs> Lots of kerfuffling. Yeah. Yeah. Kerfuffling. <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, would anybody like to do the recap of last this, uh, three weeks ago the, the last session that we did <laughs> I'll, I'll just take it because i have the notes probably for I the best that. yeah probably and i best. don't we don't even know in the rotation who it is anymore so i'll yeah. just i'll just right. take this one sounds good yeah so we killed adriac's sister the end <laughs> all right and now we are uh <laughs> just kidding <laughs> I, I can give i can give some words yeah, yeah. to be honest though, that is most of what we did pretty much um well, so we started out on, or with uh, Zal and June coming into a very creepy ass town. And there were like these gates on the one end that were just like soaking in blood. And it was weird. And I didn't like it. Um, there were lights in some of the houses, but, you know, there were some shadows moving within. Couldn't really tell how many people there were, what they were doing. Then there were, uh, we had a conversation with a weird shopkeeper dude that was selling larva mm. and they screamed. Yeah. yeah, they were yelling. Uh, and we just ignored them. <laughs> um, we, we talked to this dude. He was not very helpful. He was, he was going in between like, you know, is, is it lethargy, lethargy? How would I say that? Like yeah, just uh, lethargy. Ap apathetic, apathy. Like, just weird, and but then, like, also having, like, laughing and having emotion, but then, like, also just, like, soul-crushing tiredness. Really odd. 
So we then go to the gates. There were weird bug people. We talked to the bug people, convinced them that we were with the Crimson, or maybe they just referred to... Yeah, no, they said Crimson. You are yep. with Crimson? Yes. You are aware of dangers? Yes. <laughs> Some things can't be killed with force? Yes. Very yeah. well. They opened the gate. Mm -hmm. um, so we were walking, we were walking. Uh, we did a couple of of uh, oh, wisdom saves to not be basically overtaken with this apathetic urge. It was weird. We also couldn't show any emotion or else things would start following us to try to suck our souls away. We couldn't show emotion. And then I raged and just grabbed everything. Well, well, I'm not to that point yet. By the way, there's well, a picture. I am. Those are the bug people. Those are the bug people. Yeah. yeah. I'm not to the battle yet. We'll get to see. that. Um, so Adriac had some conversation with his sister. Um, basically it didn't go just very to... well. <laughs> yeah, no, it didn't go very well. Um, trying to convince her to let him go, trying to figure out what was going on. Uh, his sister put him through some emotional abuse because that's fun, I guess. Um, a lot of a lot of great stuff. Um, then you come back to uh, Zal and June. We eventually find this castle that we believe Adriac is really being held in. Um, there are chasms everywhere, and there are all these these figures uh, kind of moving towards us, um, and whatever. And so we basically we start to battle. We fight all these things. June rages, uses himself as a decoy, yada yada. We kill everything. Adriac. We were kind of on the ropes for a little bit, and then the tables turned, which was great. And then Adriac decided to try to bolt. Mm -hmm. Um. And then was it? It was Adriac that stopped her, wasn't it? Yeah, Adriac was still yeah. flying, I think, at the time, and I think made uh, Calliope go to sleep. Yep. Yeah, but she was invisible um, for a little bit. If it wasn't for that fucking yeah. that you, you just barely shot with he an eldritch blast. She, Meanwhile, <laughs> it was like fucking Betty Hilling the, all the other mobs. <laughs> 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 Some yeah. of them fell into the chasm. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, agile, we they lost were like very three. agile, and so they would try to <laughs> leap over the chasm and then just fall, which was great. Um, but yeah, so we tied up Calliope. We kind of interrogated her, took all of her clothes off. Not all of her clothes, just most of them. She had a canvas um, on, so yeah, <laughs> yeah. She had she had some some cover, probably not a lot. Um, <laughs> To be fair, she's a fucking servitor, so she wasn't wearing pants anyways. Yeah. <laughs> what are the pants? Like, are there servitor pants? Probably not. Um, so yeah, so then Adriac and Calliope ended up talking, and, and Adriac made the decision to go through with the Rites of Remembrance, um, during which uh, the two pieces of Indrith within each other were kind of fighting and tearing their bodies apart, and Adriac willed through it better than Calliope, and so Calliope Fuck died. Fucking hey. The yeah, best Cali rolls, like, I remember <laughs> Kai was rolling shit all game. Oh, yeah. And yep, then, yep. like, what it mattered during those rides, it's like, you didn't get a roll below 15. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so... Well, okay, uh, I did botch one, but I, I used my inspiration. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's so that happen. doesn't count. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so Calliope died. Uh, we didn't, nobody knew what was going to happen. Calliope didn't even know what was going to happen. Um, so now, uh, Adriac has all of Indrith within himself. And Whatever that, that, might, means. that might pose a problem. We're not sure <laughs> what's we'll going to happen. Cross that bridge when um, we get to it. <laughs> yeah. And so then, as we were kind of, as things had like just resolved, I think we heard a massive roar in the distance or something, and we're like, time to fucking split. And we used one of the uh, the yeet rods to yeet ourselves, <laughs> yeet out, of, <laughs> to yeet ourselves <laughs> out, of the, out of the plane of Hades. Yep. We were in Hades. And we um, ended up in a weird library. 
or something. Well, yeah, well, we think so. I, we, Zook actually didn't tell us. Or, well, I, I think he said that there were books around. I think it was really about all we got. Yeah. I mean, I'll see if it's, a, it's in my you? notes. Nope, I say we break a rod and escape to not Hades as something powerful was approaching us. That's... As long as we were not in Hades, we were what? happy. So... Can't help we you? are now... You know, I'm at least assuming back in the material plane, the normal one that we'd we'll like to be in. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, and uh, we're doing stuff. That's, that's pretty much where it is. Um, I don't think... I mean, we, we got a lot of information from Calliope, but I just try not to make it too long. Lost over some stuff, but... Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah, where we left it. off. If you guys want to place your miniatures on the map right here okay so just just to make sure like the map is um, just this like where is my mini? over here correct they're all over next oh. to me for some why reason why do i keep ending up over here yeah there's a there's a fog of war that's why you can't see okay it's in, is it just me that the fog of war is just black rectangles for? yes yeah i also no. see that yes okay that is... however i see all these over here zoom you see what huh all these little see green what? thingies what green yes. thingies oh yeah yeah, yeah. I'm oh, yeah. Page who is flashing us what? Uh, um, <laughs> what no she's just she's just like holding her cloak out to the side it just makes her look like she's flashing us oh okay um, i see yeah there's a dual wielding elf an elf wizard i am a wizard another elf is there just like a there's a cart in here a lot of elves. <laughs> I didn't make this. Okay. Oh shit! They're just all chilling. Oh well, I guess okay. Oh okay, I, I see what you mean by this dude that looks like uh, he just looks at you, no matter what. The guy in the cart. Yeah. I don't little, like uh, it. I don't also don't like it. <laughs> I don't um, like it. <laughs> so are we? Are we just like placing ourselves where we would have ended up after? Yeah. Y yes. You're you're right okay. where right where you are. That's, that's all <laughs> would have landed on top of the cart. No. Why not? And like hit it and rolled off to the floor? <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me get these guys set up. Oh, I'm lagging so bad and it's making this difficult. Almost done. Every time I eat sushi, I just want to eat so much more sushi. I know. Oh, I love sushi <laughs> so much. Oh, really high so elf. <laughs> Apparently one of these minis is named really high elf. The, the <laughs> highest of elves. Sup, man. Dude. Which one plays it? Sup, bro. All right. Really so. high elf. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What the? Do you see what he looks like, though? <laughs> no, no, no. Where is he? Where is he? Hold on. Oh, look, at, look at him. Do you I'm see he's in like a ball cap and he's got like the finger guns going on? What really? That's yeah. fantastic. He looks like a fucking Taurus. He's got sunglasses and everything. Really high elf. Uh there he is. Yeah. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's canon now. Dead. Oh my god. Where did you Nobody knows come where from? he came from. No, he's good. <laughs> Yeah, man. Let's go grab a Zon some dog. Why is why is uh why it's is like uh, all floating? He's because he would have teleported in on top of the wagon and like hit the roof and rolled off. Then wouldn't you just be on the floor? Yeah, whatever. Okay, kill Joy. What? Painful ish, painfully ish guardian man. Yes, that one's my favorite. <laughs> okay, all right, so. <laughs> <laughs> the rift opens up you uh, and you fall out of the sky and you like like you said you smack into the uh top of this roof like structure tumble down and fall onto the ground um <laughs> the, the other two are kind of a little bit more graceful but there's this moment of having to catch you yourself you can make us make dex checks um, or something you know what that's not a bad idea good. everyone make a dexterity <laughs> check um, yeah, um just for Checker's the fun saving, of it bro. go ahead and make a uh disadvantage what are you doing? for you uh dave okay oh yeah shit you're orange Whoops. yeah is it a dex or is it a check or a save a save Yes. A save. Yes, it would be a um, save. I technically get advantage for that. 
a deck save. That's a five. Okay, then you would have an advantage. The only person that gets disadvantage is Nave because of uh, how he <laughs> described that he oh, wanted wow, to okay. Um, well, I had it. I rolled a ten. Okay. Eighteen. <laughs> okay. So, um... <laughs> So basically, um, when the rift opens up and you're basically suspended in air for a moment, um, uh, Jude, you kind of stumble a little bit but catch your grounds and uh, you basically look around and you're surrounded by books. Um, whereas Adriac comes behind uh, behind you relatively quickly afterwards and uh, does a, I was going to say a three-point landing, but servitar so it's a five point landing just cool like you know super super pants <laughs> out you know perfectly gets on and then you're just kind of looking around wondering where zal is and then you're ah. <laughs> <laughs> lands face first on the ground after hitting the roof of some cart Nightmare. and you see this person behind it kind of look up and look around he's like his, his eyes are wide like oh uh, graceful Whoa. <laughs> you see several people um, kind of perk up and uh, one person with uh, with a staff in hand wearing, uh, wearing these elegant robes uh, and a book underneath his arm just kind of walks up uh, hello are you all alright <laughs> yeah um, yeah I think I'll uh I think I'll be all right from that. I, uh, we came from a, a worse deal, so this is definitely a better situation. And then kind of like looks at the guy and is like, or is it? The guy doesn't look threatening at all, does he? <laughs> uh, he looks more confused than anything. Okay, yeah, well, then we'll, we'll admit that last part. Zell's not going to question it. So we'll be like, yeah, sure, the guy's approaching. He looks fine. <laughs> and uh... takes half of his movement to stand up. Okay, you stand up. <laughs> um, so uh, the person with the staff and the, goes, uh, "Where did you come from?" Uh, Hades. That okay? I guess we're just announcing that. Apparently, you came from the polar south of the malevolent realms. Sure. What, well, we're not. What's more important is, do you know where we are right now? <laughs> of course, you're in the, uh, you're in the arch library of Olfell. Do I know what that is? <laughs> um, you all have heard of Olfell before, um, because that came up in game, um, a few sessions ago, um. Mm. So you kind of know that Ophel has some libraries in it, and that's where your research at the other library kind of pointed you to Ophel. You don't know exactly mm -hmm. where it is unless you roll. Uh, go, yeah, go ahead and roll. G give me a history check or uh, a raw intelligence check. Can I? Can I roll that too? Oh, yeah. I'll roll a history check. Yeah. Wait, do you want history or raw intelligence? Uh, so go history, because you're more likely to have a bonus from it. Okay. I have a bonus to neither, but I rolled a 19. Okay. <laughs> I got a 19 in total. <laughs> okay. I got a... Uh... 22. Holy shit! 22, okay. Total, I got a 16, but I have a plus 6 in history, um, so... So... <laughs> token and, um... Adriac, uh, Jude and Adriac, uh, both of you have heard of Olfell before, and it's from the northern um, island off the coast of Makialava. It's still technically part of Makialava, but it's like um, further, it's disconnected from the actual main um, country. I'll, I'll bring it up on this map over here so you guys can kind of see. Pull this up. Oh shit, are we all the way on that like little island over there? You are all the way up here. Okay. Um, so basically you're, you're you else. Yeah, uh I'm I'm not on the uh okay, so you should be able to see you guys were uh here. Can you guys see that in the middle of the uh the river? Did it point to the right spot? 
Oh, no, okay. you're pointing. Yeah, you're pointing to like the bottom left of. Okay, just short of the bridge. You see where the bridge is on that map? Uh, near the like Juniper right Tower. Yeah, near yeah. the Juniper yeah. Tower. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So you guys were just south of that. You guys are now up where it says Olfell. Um, I don't see upper, anything that says Olfell. You're gonna have to pull down. A little oh, bit. up in the the top. Yeah. The top. Because uh, it, it doesn't island. it doesn't show you what I'm looking at. You'll have to pop uh, it up okay. and then right. Right click drag. It's all the way in the corner up there. Yeah. We overshot by a little bit. <laughs> wow. We sure did. Yeah. yeah. So you guys kind of get the general uh, idea where it is. It's actually pretty close uh, to the the next uh, continent of uh, Odyssea. Uh, the one with the, that is absolutely wrapped with uh, the um, magic, uh, the wild magic storms and whatnot uh, that generally mm -hmm. people stay the fuck away from um but it's far enough disconnected that you you don't have to worry about it uh reaching this place at least yet um gotcha. so you know generally where you are um let's see with the 22 um you get all that information as well but you also know that this is uh one of the places that has uh some of the best detailed knowledges in the entire world, uh, short of the scholars of uh, of Orth. In fact, a lot of the archmages that study at the College of Old Fell um, are, are are usually first in line to be considered to become uh, the scholars of Orth. Um, and the scholar of Orth, uh, in case I didn't mention that before to you guys, is like the the highest position that you could possibly get in the academic uh department um they only select like the the smartest the most talented uh the highest prestiged and most unbiased uh people to be part of that organization to help document the records of uh, of orth but yeah so you are in Olfell, and you actually saw some documentation when you were looking up um what was it? What were you looking up? Was it the relics that you were looking up? Or you were looking uh, up something that pointed you in the direction of Olfell before? It, shit. Um, it might have been... Uh, it might have been relics, uh, but I, I did do research, too, on that assassin order or whatever that we ran into. I don't remember fully where... Okay. I don't remember, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I just tried to search my notes for Olfell and nothing popped up, so. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so basically it, it's a place of knowledge. There's a college here. It's an elven territory. Um, they are um, purveyors of knowledge. that They, they follow the, um, uh, the god Bokob, specifically, um, who is uh, the major god of magic. Who is a neutral force uh, in the pantheon? <laughs> Bookworm supreme. Yes, bookworm <laughs> supreme. Very, very true. That is exactly. That is very accurate, Sig. <laughs> and so the uh, the um, uh, the figure in the robes kind of adjusts his glasses and uh, reaches over and uh, kind of like offers. Uh, he, he gestures out and pulls out a seat for you guys. Uh, sit, sit, get get comfortable. Yeah. Adrian's going to stare at the chairs. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and June, it's June, fine. June will no. June will like pull out the chair and like look at at uh, uh Adriac and like gesture. Uh, he actually snaps his fingers. <laughs> Um, and you see uh, what looks like a, um, a younger um, male elf, probably uh, uh, human equivalents, probably mid-teens. He's probably a lot older than that, uh, but mid-teens in equivalent to, to human aging, uh, who, who kind of sees the, the cue to get something, and uh, he notices the servitor, and he runs out back. Uh, you see him go into a door and then come back out, and he takes the chair away and replaces it with a big cushiony pillow, a uh, cushion for you, and it's a very beautiful one too. Like you see all the accoutrements, like the uh, 
um, uh, all the seats are lined with satin and laced with like a gold trim uh, with tassels kind of hanging off of them. Uh, the bookshelves have like golden filigree on top. There is, it's just this place <laughs> screams money. <laughs> bean bag, yes. Adrian is going to lounge on that fancy bean bag like it's his fucking job. <laughs> Good. Adrian deserves it. Yes. <laughs> And uh, you see the the um, person, the robed figure, kind of like uh, once again he adjusts his glasses and takes a look at all of you. And uh, do you all take a seat? Yeah, yeah, I take yeah. a seat. He he starts to pull out another one and goes, "Oh, uh, do you mind?" Basically, Feel if free. he can sit as well, so he yeah, 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 kind of sits down and he looks intrigued. And so, how you said there was some sort of. Uh, device that brought you here well we didn't uh, get that far into the conversation but um yeah we're obviously not we we do not hail from hades we were in hades i would assume and not escaped hades so so pray tell why were you in the polar south of malevolent plains because my sister's a Bitched. Do you I say see. that? <laughs> so, so you uh, uh, allow me to be frank. Uh, you are a servitor, are you not? Yes. Are there many of your ki uh, kind where you are from? It's a loaded question. It is a loaded question. <laughs> Zal says that. That's a bit of a loaded question. I don't mean anything by it, and you're certainly not obliged to, to, to humor me with an answer, if you don't mind. If you don't want to. There was an incident, and a lot of people died, so... Uh, uh, my no, apologies. not anymore. M my apologies. Uh, oh, well, uh, where are my manners? Uh, uh, tea, uh, alcohol, uh, wine, what do you all prefer? Yes. After that, all of the above. He snaps his fingers again. And this, the, the same, uh, the same uh, servant, or you would assume is some sort of servant, uh, kind of like shakes and walks around and runs off to the uh, to the another uh, door somewhere, and uh, is very quick about it. About five minutes later, comes back with a whole tray of like wine bottles, uh, some liquor, shot glasses, uh, there's a, a tea, a pot of tea that looks like it was already ready in case they had some guests. Uh, they even have, like, perhaps have a charcuterie tray as well. <laughs> <laughs> Explain what that Would is. Would you even know what that is? I don't a charcuterie know what that tray, is. I'm pretty sure, is it's just like one of it's those just like, trays It's just like a like tray of, like, cheese, and, cheese and, and, yeah. I was just about yeah. to say that it was, there's was gonna be cheese and crackers, <laughs> okay, and, and, like... It's a charcuterie yeah. tray. That's great, so yes, there is Which a charcuterie. Which is all even know what that is? I learned something. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say a fancy would, word. Would oh Zal know what that is? <laughs> would Zal know what it is? Probably, Probably not. not. <laughs> no, he does know what it is, but the charcuterie trays where he's from are like massive like and like the meats tables. are like actual like yeah, so but it's like, like the little, glass it's just a mini bring. one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So to Zal it looks like really small and tiny and he's a little confused. <laughs> And there are but, tiny but little yeah. sandwiches cut diagonals yeah. as well. Yeah. Like, like, this is like, shit that June's used to. So you're, yeah, you're, getting like some, a you're getting some looks from all the people in this library. Or they're, I think they're, they're like, all kind of used to looks. They're not coming towards you or anything, but like you're getting these elven eyes from all over the place. And they're all elves. The only person who's not an elf is the person in the cart. Uh, in the middle of the library, that look you can smell like, uh, like lattes and coffee and hot chocolate smells uh, I want coming hot from. Chocolate. What's that? Zal goes and gets some hot chocolate. Okay. Uh, he with the little marshmallows. He he says nothing. He's just like wide eyed <laughs> and just like hands you a hot chocolate. Give me, give me some of your best hot cocoa, please. <laughs> Poor hands. <laughs> the cheese continues. <laughs> oh. 
guys, I just thought of something fantastic. I need to get Zal Mage Hand so that he can, like, move his his nubbin, but, like, act like he's picking stuff up with his, oh my God. <laughs> with his knot arm. Yes. yes. That would be so cool. That would be that would... Yeah, it's I think it's about like, to die. Hold on just a second. Mage Hand is on the first level, yeah. Yeah, so that would uh, that'd be a, a, some waste of uh, spell slots. Not if you took, what's it called? The, uh... uh the mage in the shit. Yeah, that one. Because yep. it gives initiate. you, like, two, two cantrips, two cantrips and one first level spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Maybe I'll do that. We will um, see. So, yeah, he, he seems really intrigued with... Uh, so, um... And, and before that, uh, before your expedition to Hades, um, were you from the Material Realm? Yes. Yes. So you are denizens of Earth, uh, Earth then? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay, and uh, we're kind of quite far from home. Looks looks at a uh, um, juniper, uh, for instance. Yeah, I look like I look like I'm from money, I, but you, <laughs> I'm also dirty as fuck. <laughs> Though I, don't see any, blood, so. though I don't see any Raldric signs, uh, I would guess from your garments that you are from um, Asyuko? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I do, do, do not say anymore. I do not need to know what that means. The less I know, the better, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Probably. And, uh... New opening. And what Something brings up Goliath Stop. to this motley crew as well? I, I went back to the, the normal map. Um, well, I was on a mission searching for Autumn Snow, who I heard uh, was in the northern reaches of Maki Lava. We were making our way up just south, uh, or well, what, what, what was the town that we were in? Just outside of... Uh, Fulukan. Yeah, yeah Fulukan. Just out, we were just outside of Fulukan when we got teleported into Hades. And then we did our business and teleported out and ended up here. So I believe we overshot our original destination by a little bit but we will correct for that so you were in Fulukon from the south and you managed to find a way into Hades and then from Hades you wound it up in our library yes yes something is not setting up uh, usually with teleportation or planar shifting spells uh, there is a destination that's usually in mind with such I, I just pull spells out. Yeah, well, oh, no, yeah, because June June weird. had the sticks. Might yeah. I see that? I don't remember. I, there were like th was there three of them, and there I used three one. Total, hand them one, two. one is broken in half. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. one? Do you hand them all? Yeah. Okay. You. Uh, he he takes it and. Uh, uh, do you mind? He, he's holding like a, a what looks like a pearl in his uh, in his hand. Ooh, I know what that yeah. bitch is about to do. <laughs> Go and for he, it. He just uh, it. he mutters an incantation and holds his eye up to it and begins looking up and down the the rods. It's like, oh, interesting. These uh, these rods have the arcane ability to travel the very realms of existence. Uh, it looks like they are. They are predetermined locations. Uh, so whoever oh, cool. built this rod, the one that you broke individually, um, had this location in mind. Uh, who so did you Zal, get this from? Zal, yeah, Zal looks at Adriac and is just like, "Why would your, why would Calliope have much interest in Olfel?" I honestly have no. Well, does Adric have any idea? You have no idea. Yeah, no okay. idea why Calliope. Wait. Oh, right, because Indrith. Oh, make a. Make an intelligence check. Just a raw intelligence check to see if your spirit can recall why you would have that. 
11. 11. Um, you don't... So you think for a moment, and there's this foggy memory of you being um, in regal noble um, accoutrement, but uh, you aren't a servitor anymore. Uh, you have blackened hair, uh, short, uh, you appear to be in a feminine form, and uh, you are actually making the, these rods, um, and then the, the vision fades. You're not exactly sure, but you're getting the idea that one of your past lives actually had the possession of these rods. So Adriac thinks a minute. I don't think Calliope meant to come here, but I think one of the others did. I'm sorry, what others? Uh, it's really complicated. <laughs> I, I love I complicated, know. please. <laughs> I, I have well, no words better to be. <laughs> what? Some description or some information is just better left unsaid. Oh, you tease me, but uh, fair enough. Uh... Well, now we have uh, we find ourselves in your library here, and I hope we're not. Oh, it's not my library, but too much. I understand. Um, would it be possible for us to peruse the stacks? These are public uh, public records. Uh, you're more than welcomed as long as you do not go past those doors over there. And he points to uh, wooden doors in the distance, uh, basically I'll, these I'll tell right me here. That. And they have uh, runes uh, along the the bindings of the door. Well, what lies beyond those doors? Is that just a <laughs> do not take books beyond this entrance sort of thing, or it's more of a do not go beyond this entrance. Oh, uh, where are my manners? Um, I am Aethelwyn. Um, I am one of the librarians of this particular um, hall of records, if you would. How do you spell that name? Aethelwyn. Uh, A E O T H. Uh, E W Y N. Aethelwyn. Aethelwyn. Interesting. Well, Aethelwyn, I, I am uh, Zal Spirit Guard Saizia Kenbu. Um, you may call me Zal for short; it's much easier than all of those names. Um, is there an order for how we go about looking at the books? Do we generally come to a librarian and they help us find what we're looking for, oh, or do yeah. we just? I happen to be one of the librarians, and as long as you are careful with the tomes in this particular um, place, then you are more than welcome to peruse them at your leisure. Um, when you are done with the book, merely leave it on the tables, or somewhere as perhaps one of these carts. Uh, just don't put them back on the actual shelves, because we're a very orderly establishment, if you will. Out of character, can I just say how much I love that detail? Because I worked in a library for two years at my 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 uh, oh, my I first college, and and we were very big on like we did not want people to try to put the books back because they didn't, right. they didn't know where they went. Right. And so the idea is you like please put them because people would be like, oh well, I feel bad putting them on that. Like I'll just put it back in the show. No, 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 no. <laughs> don't do that. Put it. Put it on the cart. We will come get it. We want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. I like that. <laughs> Some of these tomes are rather delicate. And I am afraid we do have a policy that if you destroy one of our tomes, you will be paying for it. Fair enough. But you're not going to make us like roll dexterity checks to open the books, are you? <laughs> like that oh my face. Gosh. <laughs> Depends on the book. <laughs> June, okay. June just because he's so fucking chaotic, he will like just very briefly summon a bit of flame in his hand and then it just disappears 
as soon as it appeared. <laughs> he's not looking at anyone. He's just kind of looking around, and it just kind of happens. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, do keep that under control as well. <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, there are others, let's just say, who are quite proficient with that element here as well. <laughs> Trying to look for... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. But you are welcome to peruse at your leisure, and... Uh, Welcome to Ophel, I guess. Uh, well, thank you. Um, we definitely... You mentioned, um, Autumn Snow, correct? And then yes, that you are of the Sizia Kenbu clan? Zal kind of, like, hits his hand on the table. <laughs> Not hard enough to do any damage, but definitely maybe right. a little startling, because he's just, like, really got his attention. It's just, like, Yes, do you know something? He's like stroking his chin like he has a beard, but he doesn't. It's almost like he <laughs> wishes he has a beard. He had a beard, but he's an elf. So he doesn't really grow <laughs> facial hair very well. And uh, if Zal had another hand, he'd be doing the same thing. <laughs> Just to mock him. The name has been heard um, uh, towards the south. Um, off of this island, of course, you'd have to take a ferry uh, to the jungles of northern Makialava, but yes, uh, I, I do recall hearing tales of uh, of such um, a, a, a named Goliath, um, supposed protector of uh, a small community. The name evades me, however. Well, thank you for that information. To be frank, we were mostly traveling in that direction based off of more distant rumors. Obviously, where we were at and where we're from is much farther south and away from there, but this sounds like some really solid evidence and instills us with some confidence. I appreciate that. <laughs> well, of course, and I guess you really did overshoot it if you're all the way in Ophel. <laughs> Uh, I, I apologize for la laughing at your plight. A uh, little bit of shrodden for you. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, well, <clears throat> I'm, uh, we're hoping that the plight is mostly over at this point. That's, uh, kind of what we just came from. Uh, this seems mm. much nicer. I'm sure. I've, I don't know, uh, it was kind of fun. Uh, uh, fun? In the Hades, it was fun. Yeah. He likes to fight things. Uh, well, uh... Things really liked to my attention. To each their own, I suppose. To each their own. Personally, I like it on the material plane. I, I am fascinated to hear about the other dimensional realms, but... Uh, Not much of a traveler yourself, huh? Uh, not particularly, no. <laughs> In my many years, I have uh, mostly stuck to uh, the books to travel elsewhere. Fair enough. Fair enough. Quite literally, you might. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Uh, oh yeah, I think I was saying something along the lines or as all was before. Aothawin rudely cut him off. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, well, again, thank you for that information on Autumn Snow. Of course. Um. I believe I'm probably going to get started doing some research on my own. If I have any questions, I will not hesitate to ask. Of course, of course. And uh, while you're staying in Ophel, there's plenty of, uh, 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 what's the word? Um, lodging? Supplies, lodgings. Supplies, uh, there yes. are magical good, places, good. shops. Uh, different places yes. to help stock up adventurers like yourselves. We get the the many uh, <laughs> scavengers who prefer to uh, go off uh, into the northern realm of Odyssea. So, uh, purposely eat the book. Do not it's eat. Do, do not <laughs> eat the book. So you see him get up and he <laughs> runs it's, over it's to the a really child. High wizard. No, it's hold the on really a second. High wizard that's well, doing that. Before he really does that, um, June will and... June will very loudly clear his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Can you take care of that? You see another one of the elves <laughs> run over to what looks like a kid who was just taking a book. <laughs> <laughs> 
Gosh, just <laughs> gumming um, a book. June, June just kind of holds out his hand and is like looking at the rods. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> my apologies and he hands them back Thank over to you, you. <laughs> um they what? they both do have uh predetermined locations uh as well and um for some reason even my identify spell was not able to discern those locations so um oh wonderful it's uh, quite a mystery to me uh but mm -hmm. Cheerio, That's have fun. fun grab bag. <laughs> was he trying to keep them from us on purpose, or was it I don't know, but forgetfulness? make an insight check. <laughs> That's well. That's what I was hoping for. I'm over here. I don't know. Of course oh. you don't know. Zook knows. He's the DM. I just He's know he didn't give them back, and I wanted them back. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. I had completely forgotten about them, to be honest. Well, motherfuck. Of course. I don't know why I expect anything else ever. I got a five. A five? Um, he probably was just flighty. You're, you're, yeah. you're not sure if it, what his intentions were, but uh, judging by his demeanor, you're guessing he probably just forgot. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Um, I will... I'm going to start researching. If I come across a tome that looks particularly fragile, I'm going to ask for assistance in handling it from one of the more trained individuals <laughs> in the library. Okay. Because um, that's how we did it in my library with like sure. really, really uh, fragile books. That way we couldn't really get mad at people if they just <laughs> started falling apart. Okay, uh, let me bring... Up. I also only have one arm, so I'm gonna lean into that a little bit. <laughs> just so, like, I can get their sympathy, to, like, for their help. Uh, yeah, one of the, one of the, the servants pity party. will basically be we'll nearby and be able to, uh, assist you if you need help. Cool, so I'm, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't have to roll any dex checks to handle these fucking tomes. I kept trying to scroll up in Discord and find the list of stuff that I had talked about wanting to research. Uh, every time I scroll up too high, though, it like shoots me back down to the bottom because thanks, Discord. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Just a second. I actually wrote down the list. I did like all of ah, that research. No, there's a, there's a ton of stuff. Okay. I found it. Okay. Roll up some awkward. While this is happening, um june will be he'll just kind of wander around and just check out stuff until sure. he finds like a comfortable spot sure to okay. sit down um and then he'll find a flat surfaced book like a larger flat surface book that doesn't really have like much like texture in the binding um and he'll use it as like a clipboard to write on <laughs> while he's like comfy up in a, in a sofa <laughs> okay that's uh, are you being obvious about this? Kind of. So there is one of the librarians, not not Aethoen, but one of them is just kind of like looking at you, and like he like wants to say something, but doesn't want to fuck with you because you were just in Hades, according to you. Yeah, I also have. I'm also like slightly covered in blood, and you know, so like he's a big axe like, on the back. You know what? You know what? I'll just use presentation and clean the book afterwards. I'm just, <laughs> I'm not touching that. I have mend item. <laughs> but he's just kind of like looking in your direction like he wants to say something. I will but purposely make eye contact and just like give a very polite smile and then go back to <laughs> And he runs around saying. one of the, uh, one of the bookshelves. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, so... But yeah, no, June will start writing something. And what Zal is... takes a whole ash charcuterie tray with him, Okay. by the way. And what is Adriac doing? Adriac is going to take a fucking nap. Okay. <laughs> of course. Um, Zook is I just mean, smiling. <laughs> he was in Hades, his sister tried to kill him, there was a fight, and then he got, he like, absorbed the fragment of the goddess that was in his sister and now his sister's <laughs> dead and it's like i just fucking nap okay so uh we're gonna be yeah, entering a research spot. check uh each uh, each roll uh for this is going to be four hours of uh okay. of of research so are i are, are any other uh adriac or june are either of you going to be researching as well at all through this four hour span uh, or is there something else that you're going to be doing um, I figure, well, I, I feel like Zal 
maybe before they break off and, and just like because in, in general well how is all is all will kind of gather adriac and june really kind of before we split off right before adriac naps before june goes and starts defacing property um, <laughs> right <laughs> defacing like anything but... I, I know you're not now that um, you bring it up <laughs> well um after that experience i don't know about you guys but i want to maybe take a few days to rest recuperate resupply honestly replan because the journey that i had mapped out is null and void at this point we uh, are we very are far from home different location um i foresee us maybe being here for a few days um this first what time is it do i know what time it is right now uh right now you're window. inside there are windows um there uh, the windows yeah, are currently like... closed um however oh, you do yeah. see a little bit of light uh kind of bleeding through um well i'll ask one of the assistants or the librarian just be like you know like what what, what time of day is it uh you uh, see him uh look uh, he actually takes out what looks like a, a small device in his hand and flips it open and uh you oh. see a uh um uh, 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 a small chronometer uh, it goes from 1 to 13 because there are 13 there are 26 hours in an Earth day and he says uh it seems it is uh right around 2 30. so you better go see a dentist <laughs> i'm sorry and he sees that <laughs> classic clothes and walks away okay <laughs> So he like and walks so away and it takes like 30 seconds, but then June just starts bursting out of laughter. <laughs> Zal's face just like doesn't change. He found it a little funny, but he just straight faces it. Oh my god. <laughs> and I, so I'm, I'm imagining it's, it's so like kind of midday ish. And that would be, yeah, that would be PM6. That's your asking. Yeah, it's, it's uh, 2 30 in the afternoon. Okay, so, yeah, you know, so Zal will kind of continue just be like, you know, for the first day we're here, obviously, like, you know, let's just kind of relax. Adriac, obviously, I think you deserve a little bit of calm time, just like to to hang out. Hard on. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a big sigh. Um, but I think I have a lot of questions that have been building up over our time of travel um i would like to spend as much time as possible researching um if that maybe means that if you guys run out of stuff to do if you guys could maybe go resupply for us and our journey and stuff like that you know i'll research you know best ways to get to where we need to go um you know stuff about what just happened stuff about stuff that happened earlier uh, basically you can leave the books to me if you guys would be up for handling the resupply and uh just whatever that else you guys want to do because i don't think resupplying would take terribly long i think i can manage that uh, and Sig, I know that pain. I also use military time all the time at work. Uh, so in military terms, it would be 1530. Because there are 13 hours before it becomes one o'clock. Noon is at 1300 hours. Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. Did the cameras just freeze? There we go. Does that, that sound, sound, like, a, sound like a plan? What happened? We're good. Oh, okay. What? Does, oh, okay. Does that, does that sound like a plan <laughs> yeah. to everybody? Okay. Cool. The so video is lagging. Going. It's so weird. Uh oh. Yeah. On the stream or just yeah. in Discord? Yeah. Well, on my Discord, anyways. Like, I can hear uh, it might you be your and internet. then I see. Yeah, it's probably my internet. Yeah, that's what was happening to me. Okay, well, with that being the plan, and since we're all at least sort of on the same page, I'm imagining Zal really spending as much time as possible in the library handling the research. Um, and then, you know, June and Adriac can really just go and kind of do whatever. Um, unless, obviously, of course, if you guys want to research specific shit, like, that's up to you. But Okay. 
Adric will probably sleep for like a day and then <laughs> help in the library. And research. Yes. Then one just, the, one just fucking sleeps in the library the whole time. <laughs> The we just don't all... even bother like waking him up. <laughs> yeah, one of the things all like specifically, I thought that's all would do is just for the next couple of days, just not wake Adriac up in the morning, just let him <laughs> sleep until however the fuck long he wants to, as just kind of a very subtle like you you deserve to rest. I don't need to disturb <laughs> you right now. Okay, um, so uh, you basically lounge on the bean bag and take a nap, Adriac. Yes. Okay. Uh, Toki. Make a sleep check. Jude, what, are you, what is Jude <laughs> Make a doing? sleep check. Okay, well, so Jude is going to write a letter. Okay. Um, while he's here. Sure. I don't imagine that will probably take any longer than an hour, though. Yeah, um, yeah. So he will immediately get bored of this place. <laughs> um, and try to leave. Sure. Um, so... Um, then you begin your research, um, uh, Zal. Um, so okay. you exit what you presume is the the exit out of the library, because um, it does have. Do, do you speak Elvish? Elvish? I don't think. So. Uh, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think anyone here speaks Elvish. Sure, nope. fucking don't. No. <laughs> but there is a, a symbol above one of the doors, and uh, there is a translation next to it in common that says, you know, oh. exit. So. Um, you see okay. that door, and it's it's a large, beautifully ornate door, and you open it up, yeah. and you feel this gust of wind. Yeah? Before I do that, sure. I am going to go check out the door they told us not to enter. <laughs> it's just, like, I it's just like want to check like it out. It's like a button in front of you that says, yeah. do not push. Yeah, I have to, I have to do it. <laughs> Right. Um, so you head over to that door. Basically, yes. uh, 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 so I, I picture like you like being like uh, hand on the door outside, and then kind of going and then closing the door and walking over to the other door. <laughs> yeah, he's just like. Mm. Um, okay. So he'll he'll kind of he'll kind of like wander around to make it look very nonchalant, and then eventually he'll kind of go by by and pass sure. past the door and just kind of um, like. Give it a good once over. Make a deception check. Okay. Because you're kind of acting like you you don't really want to go oh, there. Wow, my deception like, is not Oops, great. I'm just here now. <laughs> oh, by the way, everyone's uh, inspiration has refilled. Oh, sweet. Wow. And, yeah. I rolled a natural one. Oof. <laughs> Um, you have the That's looks of, of, two. Of, of two people are just kind of looking straight <laughs> at you. You don't know no. if they're librarians or not, but they are watching you. Okay, but that's fine. You I'll are continue the... to stare at the door. Okay, you look at the door. <laughs> um, at, at first glance, it looks like a simple <laughs> wooden door, uh, but then you see these, um, basically the... Um, uh, the bars that go across the door have uh, what look like um, arcade runes that, that go all the way across. They're uh, glowing with a slight uh, bluish-purple aura. Okay. I Can I make anything out? Like, anything that might look familiar? Make or... an check. Okay. <laughs> you know what? While I do this, I'm also going to... Hold on. Uh, let me make sure I actually can use it. Um, oh, cool, I do. I have one more. Ma I'll, I'll flash magic awareness. Okay. Um, which allows me to... I know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet that isn't behind total cover, and if I sense a spell, I know the school of magic it belongs to. So okay. I'll use that while I do this. Please don't roll me a natural one again. Okay. Um, that's a total of 17 for our con. Okay, just a second. Um, uh, go ahead and roll at the uh, advantage since you have the arcade oh. uh, thing going. Okay. I rolled a 15 again, so okay, same so thing. Same <laughs> result. Right, let me just see what spell. Okay, uh, the uh, so the door is blatantly magical, um, and okay. it, it beams with two spell, uh, two classes of magic, um, two schools, I should say, uh, abjuration and evocation. Um, okay. Around you, though, you do see several 
what appears to be magical items in the vicinity and different um this whole library actually has this sense of magic around it and several of the um what you assume would be librarians because they're wearing the same clothes as uh Aethelin, uh was um they mm -hmm. all have magic uh coming from them as well um of various oh. schools of magic so i'm not i'm not gonna go into all the details uh but you see a lot of magic in fact it's almost blinding with how much magic oh, cool. is in this well, area. Good thing that only lasts six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's some, just this flash for a moment, and then it's like someone just like turned around and took a took a Polaroid to your face. <laughs> what what uh what school of magic is the uh, really high elf from? Uh, do you take particular interest in that? I sure don't. I can't even see him. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. There is uh, a line of sight thing. <laughs> can, can you just tell me out of character? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm offended. <laughs> well, maybe you should so, get uh, Detect Magic. Any no. vocation. Stupid. Huh? <laughs> I only have two spell slots. Warlocks have an three. invocation that allow them to have permanent Detect Magic. Oh, I think yeah. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, it I don't think you took sense. it though. So. No, I don't. Think um, okay, so with that information, what is June doing? Well, I can only surmise that this is probably trapped, so I'm not going to bother with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> June immediately loses Fair. interest and leaves. <laughs> Fair. Okay. All right. So at that point, actually, with some of the eyes. Yeah, you, you turn around and uh, you open up the door. There's this gust of wind that kind of goes in, and you open it up, and uh, much to your surprise, you are outside, and you are on what looks like a balcony with stairs that seem to spiral around this large tower Ooh. that you seem to be on. You look over the edge, and if you were like, um, uh, what is it? Uh, fear of heights. What is that? Acrophobic? Acrophobic? No. Um, I forget what it's called. How about you're just oh. afraid of heights? Afraid of heights. I forget what the actual movie is called. <laughs> um, but you look down, and it's... Have you guys ever been on an airplane before? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course you have. So you can see <laughs> down. Right. You're over... It was acrophobia. Okay. You can yeah, see right. down, and it was... Uh, uh, you can see the clouds uh, underneath oh, you. You were that high shit. up. Yeah. Um, so, so... Neat. They they are all really high elves. They are all really high elves. Yes, um, yeah. And and the staircase seems to spiral around, and uh, you are on a giant tower. Neat. Is this the highest point, or does it keep going? Yes, it is the highest point of this tower. It's the highest point. Wow, we really ended up in the highest fucking point of this tower. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, is there a reason there's a bunch of like floating bookshelves and shit? Huh just really high above what? the gray square what where up here what the fuck are you saying oh it might be uh i i mean the, the maps are stored in this little uh, I, I don't know don't see anything i don't see anything out there either do I need to share yeah. my screen? Nah, it's fine. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's <laughs> Just take whatever, a screenshot. You, a screenshot. And you can take it. Share it later. <laughs> um, anyway, okay. um, so uh, yeah, there, yeah, the choices are back into the library you came from, or down the stairs. <laughs> cool. Uh, I guess I'll go down. Sure. Okay. Just um, you begin. Uh, you begin to basically go down um, and. Uh, you actually get into the clouds, and uh, the the cl like as soon as you get like you're you're completely engulfed with these clouds. You can't see anything except for the stairs below you, and there's just cl like cl your 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 vision is completely obscured. When it fades away, um, you are now in like this giant bustling city. Like you can, it, it's almost like walking through a, a, a portal of some sorts. And you feel that disturbance, like you did, like you felt a similar sensation when you came from Hades and appeared onto uh, into the library. Um, you feel that same kind of sensation. So whatever the stairs led, it brought you to this location. It's like a built-in teleportation device on these uh, stairs 
staircases, and you're in the middle of this bustling city, um, with, like, their el- it's primarily elves, probably about 70% elves, the other 30% are all kinds of different races. Um, and you see the beautiful architecture of uh, Olfell, and it's very, very tall buildings um, with steepled, kind of dome-shaped. Uh, I think almost like um, Saudi Arabia meets like um, uh, like Victorian era, that kind of mesh. Um, yeah, so you are in the capital of uh, of Olfell, and uh, anything you're looking for in particular? Nope. Uh, well, nope. I mean, how long does it take me to get from the? So like, it just, it just, it was basically like I teleported. Yeah, basically to the you, bottom. You went downstairs, uh, down the stairs, and when you hit the clouds, uh, which took probably about two minutes of descending, um, you okay. just stepped off into uh, this place, and you see the tower, the the tower behind you that you were just from, and the spiraling staircase just all the fucking... that goes all the way up. Basically, you oh, skip boy. you skip stories upon stories of stairs. Oh, cool. That's very convenient, at least. Yeah, until you have to walk back up. And... <laughs> well, I mean, I imagine it teleports me back up, but I'm not going to test that out. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> well. I have to pee. Can I run pee while you guys yeah, do Yeah, that? you can do that. Yeah. Um, Bring back a soda. I'm thirsty. <laughs> we don't have soda. <laughs> we have juice. I have juice. Um, well, okay, so I want a place to take this letter to. Sure. Um, but I also am very curious about the rest of the town. <laughs> sure. So I'll wander in search of some sort of, um post office of some sort sure but i'm also just kind of looking around and checking stuff out checking out the sites okay um yeah. go ahead and make an investigation check okay um modified 20. wow modified 20 okay uh, so looking around the city, um, it's it's a very beautiful place. The architecture looks very old. Uh, there's a lot of moss and vines, kind of, uh, kind of encompassing a lot of the um, a lot of the buildings and whatnot. But it's in like a tasteful way. Like a lot of it, like they they trim the excess off so it's not overrunning the buildings and whatnot. There are several parks and different areas with like streams going through it um there are uh signs posted like you know don't feed the fish and stuff like that like it's a very <laughs> uh a very um well-maintained uh city uh you would it's higher class than aziyuko high class like it's it's a very rich city um and there's like several different uh you see like um elf uh, minstrels and whatnot kind of going around they're playing instruments to tourists and whatnot uh there are several like apps outside cafes uh with beautiful like looking dishes and aromas of delicious uh, smelling meals uh exotic smells that you've never smelt before um and uh, you see several different buildings there's like an item shop a magical item shop there's a, a place for potions. Uh, there's obviously other libraries, um, temples to various different gods. Some of the gods you wouldn't wouldn't have expected. Uh, there uh, is like this large um, statue in the center of the park uh, to this uh, f feminine sort of androgynous looking elf uh, named Coralon Larethian. Uh, if you want to make a religion check, you may. Um, but yeah, just basically looking around uh, the city. This is what you see at first glance. Interesting. Religion. Oh, that was almost a natural 20. Uh, I got 18 in total 18. for religion. Carlon Larethian is the um, 
Uh, Korlong Lorethian is the god of the elves. Uh, it is also a, a god of magic. Um, not as pronounced as, like, Bokob, who is a, a very prominent god of magic. Um, but he... It, the the day of affection um which i think i've read to you guys before about the day of affection mm -hmm. um so he is had uh, he is said to have planted every uh, every tree that is in the alondris forest on the continent of hroth um to com commemorate every elf that is on orth uh to show his love and affection uh for or his people. Um, so yeah, Corlon the Rethian. <laughs> he also stabbed out the god of the orc's eye, which is cool. Oh, cool! <laughs> <laughs> orcs don't like him. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, yeah that's Corlon uh, the Rethian, and you see other accoutrements, like there uh, several several different places, like uh, pubs, inns, restaurants, uh, libraries, temples, and uh, you actually, eventually, after about an hour of just kind of checking out the sites of Olfell, uh you do wind up to um uh, the a uh, uh letters uh letters and leisures uh delivery service oh cool <laughs> um neat so i'll head in okay you uh head um... in there's a ding -ding -ding as you enter from the bell the top of the uh door oh, and door. uh you, you see what looks like this uh this gnome kind of perk up the, oh Come in, come in, come in, come in. I'm coming. How um, can I help you? You see, there are well, a few I... other people that are kind of packing up some packages, and uh, they're being helped by other uh, people. I have a package that I would like to send out. Oh, okay. Uh, right away. Where's it going to? Um, it would be heading to. Someone in Aziuko. Aziuko, Aziuko. Okay, and uh, uh, what's the weight of the parcel that you're sending today? I'm trying to think of what I want to send. One ounce. <laughs> no, not yet. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's just a letter. Okay, and will this be delivered by Eagle or uh, teleportation? Ooh. Uh, let's just do Eagle. Eagle? All right, that will take to Aziuko. He kind of looks on a chart. Uh, approximately a week to deliver. Is that still okay for you? That's fine. Okay, and uh, for that distance and uh, security, insurance purposes, and protection of the eagle and the risk management, uh, you're looking at a total of uh, three gold and fifty uh, silver. I'm sorry. Uh, three, three gold and five silver. <laughs> that is easy enough. All right, um, and uh, let's see. Go ahead and sign it here. Slides forward a uh, little form to fill out with basically the name of y your name your current address where you're going to be staying at in Ophel and um, your uh, basically the recipient where are we staying <laughs> we don't know um, that's where you get to just glance out the window see the first in name you see in <laughs> What's the nicest inn in this place? Oh, uh, that would be the uh, uh, the fanc the fanciful fawn, which is uh, about two blocks down. What's the step under that? The step under that. Um, let's see, let me think a moment. Uh, that would be uh, do 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 do. I don't go to many of these. Uh, Let's see, I would say, uh, the fairy's fantasy. Okay, well, all right, we'll write that down. <laughs> oh, okay. so the fairy's fantasy, okay, you can sign that right there. Um, June will put something completely fucking random. It's, it's just gonna, it's gonna say, mm, I should have thought of this beforehand. Uh... It's just going to say the one who wanders. 
The one who wanders. Interesting. All right, well, it's not my place to ask. And uh, are you, do you want to add an additional five silver to have, to allow a return delivery, a return message? Yes. Okay. Sure. So that's, that's a total of four gold after everything. Okay. Okay. And uh, you give him the you give him the letter. He takes it. He folds <laughs> it, uh, rolls it up, and puts it into a scroll case. And you hear you hear it go, and you see an eagle f- fly and land on on his arm. Yeah, he's got a thick le- leather uh, glove, and uh, he hands it. And uh, you see him pull out what looks like a, a, a rock of some sort, and uh, actually clips it open. It, it's a bottle of some sort, and has the bird sniff it. And the bird takes the, oh. and then he basically gestures out. the The eagle flies off into the distance. Interesting. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with today? Nope, that should be it. Thank you very All much. All right, enjoy your stay, in old fellow, and do come again. And I'll leave. Um, just to give you a note, that wasn't addressed specifically to Rin. Okay. Um, it's addressed to a servant that June would have trusted. Okay. Um, to make it look like it, it, the, so he specifically put a perfume on it and like the seal looks very, uh, fancy to okay. make it look like a star-crossed lover or some sort. <laughs> okay. Um, and, uh, if you want like, uh, between games or something, you can write me what it actually says. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that way, if you know, I can like like send it back. He actually give you like a prop or something in game mm-hmm. next week. <laughs> All right, so you successfully uh, send off an eagle that hopefully gets to uh, send the message. Uh, is there anything else in particular that you'll be doing? Uh, well, I guess I'll fucking go to the support. What was it called? I already forget. <laughs> uh, the the uh, fairy's the fantasy. Fairy, yeah, fairy's fantasies. We'll go there. <laughs> Okay, uh, you head into the fairy's fantasy, and uh, for brevity's sake, we'll just say that you get it in room for how long? Uh, I'll do two days for now. Okay, that's going to be a total of four gold. There are two gold a night. Okay. This is a pretty high class place. That's fine. Okay. Meanwhile. Um, I assume that um, Atriac is passed out. This is a really comfy cushion they've given him. Make a willpower, <laughs> uh, make a will, a uh, wisdom saving throw at the disadvantage. Disadvantage! Fuck you. Please just <laughs> let it be to see how restless you are during your nap and not Murder. going and killing somebody. <laughs> well, guess who has well, thankfully, you're also in the room. I can math, hold on. 21. Okay. So, let me... Do, 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 do. Nope. Uh, you are wandering um, the desert by yourself. Um, you are in ragged clothing, and the air is very dry. It is very sweltering hot. Uh, the sun overhead is beating down on you. If it weren't for your immortality, you would have died of starvation or dehydration long ago. However, you trudge through the dunes of this desert and eventually find your way to this place, this uh, this um, bazaar, this like settlement with uh, like a palace and a creature uh, just beautiful buildings uh, in this desert landscape. There's like an oasis of sort with palm trees. There's beautiful um, lakes and ponds inside of it. And the civilization has basically um, uh, forged itself around this oasis. And you almost pass out from the sheer exhaustion and you can feel yourself being dragged into the city. Um you awaken and you're being tended to by several servants and this 
noble uh, looking fellow in uh, loose fitting but very beautiful um, garbs of a, of a, like a, a non opaque bluish fabric uh, who is wearing a crest uh, like a, uh, a circlet that has like a jewel hanging from it and uh, he's speaking to you but no words are coming out it's like it, it's almost like a memory of some sorts and uh, some time goes by and you remember these sensations these feelings of basically growing fond of this person um, spending a lot of time with them and then uh, there is a, a, a moment where you hold open a token of, a token of affection a token of your affection uh, to this person who you have the feeling is a prince of some sort and he he smiles humbled and very uh, very touched by your gesture but declines the gift and this anger builds up over you as you take out a crisp blade and you jump him from behind and slice his throat and you wake up what the fuck uh, that was a successful check. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> Mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. <laughs> Mom's scared. Dead. <laughs> Adrian's gonna jolt awake and it's like check himself to make sure that he didn't actually kill anyone there's not blood everywhere there's, it's there's fine, no right? blood on your hands but you have that you have these feelings of anger of love of uh, of dire need of betrayal like there's like all these feelings that they're alien to you but they're genuine feelings which is very a very bizarre sensation meanwhile what are you researching first? Oh boy, here we go. Oh Zal's boy. research adventures. Oh boy! Um... Yeah, okay, let me look. I have my list here. There is probably a specific order that I would be researching things, um, but they are not in that order, of course. Just kind of spit out a bunch of stuff. Um... I first am going to research um, Indrith, but specifically in the vein of possession and violence. So, oh, you know, okay. What try, are you try more specifically? Uh, okay, so those are two separate uh, topics that I have planned. So, are you focusing oh, more on Indrith or more on possession? Oh, well, I, um, I, I guess I was specifically going to try to look into like the whole crimson thing and, sure. and like because that's Indrith possessing people. So, so just kind of that. I want to learn a little bit more about basically the the people who were like Adriac in the past. Sure. Okay. So, so Indrith possessing people, which would be the the other crimsons, or or so to speak. Okay. So, so that's what I want. So what we'll say. Indrith I guess that might be this yeah. one. Okay, yeah. go Indrith ahead. Roll. Is probably more the focus. roll a uh, um, intelligence check, and you get your proficiency modifier because you're in a library. My proficiency modifier. So intelligence plus proficiency modifier. Where is my proficiency modifier? Or is that just the like the plus? Your proficiency used to be a plus three. Yeah. Yeah, the plus three. Wouldn't I normally get that? Um, if we, it's not history to use a library, because library is considered a tool. Uh, well, okay. So I'm gonna roll. Unless you already have intelligence as a proficient skill. Really, a nat fucking one? What bullshit? <laughs> well, hold on a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my inspiration to reroll okay. that. That's <laughs> fucking asshole. I can't believe we're using this Okay, so so like I so so if this was my role, it would be the one plus three intelligence plus three pro proficiency bonus. Correct. Yes. Okay, that's what I wasn't understanding. Got yes. it now. Uh, so let me re-roll this because fuck. Alright. 
Go ahead and spend yeah. your inspiration. Ooh, I, I much did better. Spend, oh, I did spend my inspiration. So, so that is 19 plus 3 is 22 plus 3 is 25. 25. Oh, Congratulations. That is all three. Is that the highest That is tier? the highest tier is 25. Um, all right. So you find a total of uh, three books. Uh, the first book, uh, well, most of the books that you find uh, about Indrith um, actually are more mentioning Indrith in passing. Um, they're mentioned in a lot of different books about uh, Celestian and Farlagin, uh, which are two other gods. And uh, basically, they refer to her or them. Um, the pronouns are very fluid, so you're getting by what you're reading. Uh, it's it's the sibling of uh, Celestian Falargan, Falargan, but she's uh, gender fluid. So sometimes she's re referred to as they, sometimes she's referred to as she. Um, and she is depicted in like a feminine form, um, and uh, and there's not a whole lot of information in the books that are given to you about the other gods. But you do find a little bit about Celestian, who is the god of uh, the god of the twilight, and uh, Farlagan, who is the god of travel and journeys. Um, in the next book, after reading those books, you get to another one, which kind of uh, it out it outlines Indreth as a, a goddess of souls of sorts, um, and ruler of the second layer of Hades. And oh, it, boy. it details her uh, selfishness and jealousy and different escapades thereof, basically. Uh, give me give me just a second sure. here. Sure. I know, it's a little bit of an info dump. <laughs> well, if, if I got all the tiers, can do you do you want to like could you send it to me and i can just copy paste it into the notes but like you still tell it to me but just sure later, sure i will do that yeah I, I will i will okay, do that, that might be an easier way to to handle this <laughs> oh sig apparently gave us gave a crit okay then i will oh. uh i will put that towards the next research <laughs> if okay, you're okay that's with good that. Um, my, yeah no my next research that is planned is is the probably the possession, possession part. okay because it specifically weighs to subdue possession. So this is probably the injurith and that's the possession part. And the last bit of uh, of stuff about Indrith is um, everybody's heard of the Ascended, these four war uh, uh, four warriors um, from long ago, from before history, that banded together and they were able to kill the mighty Tarask which was a, basically a god-eater that was set loose on the world, and they were able to band the nations of Orth together and destroy uh, the Tarask. After they did that, they were granted a portion of godhood from each of the gods, from every single one of them, even the evil, quote-unquote, evil gods. Um, they, they became prominent figures in Orth's uh, pantheon, uh, but afterwards they grew bored of of their status there was no more challenge so they went god hunting and one by one they killed every god in existence uh except for a, a select few indreth was one of those select few who basically bargained with uh the heroes and supposedly gave up her divinity willingly and was banished to orth to walk the planes of existence uh forever uh, as an immortal with no divine power. Um, and then there was this, um, uh, there was this prince, this desert prince, uh, who rejected, uh, her of, uh, 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 of her love, and she ended up slicing the prince's throat. Um, uh, after topical. several years, <laughs> what? I said, how topical? I know, this is like, that. I have this all written down, too. <laughs> Uh, after several years, she was eventually found and burnt at the stake, uh, and it is said that she placed a curse on the Red Star above, which represents her. She's also known as the Red Star Crimson, um, so that her soul could live on forever. Wow. That's some good information. You got a 25, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I did get a 25. You got a 25. And then I have a, a crit on my next one, which is 
how to possession. subdue possession. So okay. it's just about possession. So a, a similar thing, a, as I research, and I assume you kind of have it written out as different tiers. So yes. instead of me being distracted trying to write notes while you're talking, I, can we just, whatever I get, could you just send to me later? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so okay. with uh, possession, um, the actual, the lowest tier on possession is was a DC 20. So, oh, holy yeah, shit. so it's a good thing you're spending that uh, that credit wow. on this. Sig, uh, thank you so much. I love information. <laughs> so there is a myriad of creatures, undead, demons, devils, celestials, even mortals uh, that have the ability to pervor, uh, perform pr possession. Um, salt is a common component that uh, helps ward off spirits from entering in that place. Uh, however, this does nothing to to ward off a spirit that is already in possession so like in okay. in adriac's case it's not going to help get rid of that spirit but it might help her from wandering off um sorry him from wandering off uh holy water can also be used against fiendish and undead types of possession um then you find this uh you find this reference of this object known as the sky cleaver and digging into a little bit of research uh, the Sky Cleaver is an ancient relic uh, that apparently is um, is is an axe of sorts that can remove anything from anything. This includes like truth from untruth. So it's physical and immaterial. It can it can remove anything from anything. It can remove a soul from a person. It can remove color from an object. It can remove truth from untruth. It could possibly even remove a possession, uh, a possessed spirit from somebody, or even a god. So you find information about the sky cleaver. Fig, yes, that's amusing, and thank you, Barbarossa. <laughs> <laughs> You're just waking up to a. a, 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 a Barbarossa, thank you so much. You, uh, Barbarossa says we are all amazing and incredible. <laughs> thank yes. you. I love uh, the name Barbarossa Sparklebeard. Uh, no, that's that's awesome. Fantastic name. I think they are a, a, a fellow Anvilite, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. The name's familiar. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's two topics that you have researched. That's a total of eight hours you have spent. Uh, actually, since uh -huh. you rolled so high, I'm going to say that was just four hours. Because you rolled so high. Wow. One was a crit and one was a DC 25. So we'll say you covered a lot of grounds with that. Okay, um, cool. I'll take that. So during all of this, are either of you doing anything different or do we want to keep doing the research? Um... Adriac is probably going to be wandering around the uh, library trying not to act out on weird emotions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, um, a deception check. He's probably also going to consider this mysterious door over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so there are a lot less denizens by the time you wake up. Well, let's get rid of about half of them. Okay. Um, so you're just kind of wandering around and uh, you, you, you feel like you've rested. You've got a short rest, but you haven't gotten the full uh, long rest yet, unfortunately. Right. Because it was interrupted right. by your nightmare. Um, you wander over to the door, you see the same thing. It's a beautifully ornate door with uh, glyphs that glow iridescent colors um, uh, on top of it. There doesn't seem to be anybody watching you. I look one way and another, and he's going to poke the door and see if anybody yells at him. You just poke the door? Are you going for any particular part, or are you just poking the door in front of you? Uh, he's gonna poke, uh, like, one of the glyphs, okay. just to see what's it's, happened. It's almost like poking, um, water. There's a ripple effect that kind of glows outwards, but then after afterwards it clears and stills and goes back to the way it was. 
Okay, well, that's interesting, so he's probably going to do it again. Um... <laughs> Wait, it does it again. <laughs> doesn't make everything better, but it helps. Um... <laughs> And you can see off in the distance, uh, you, you do see Zal, who has like, f like just six books in front of him, and he's just like reading all of them intently. Impressive. <laughs> Not simultaneously. <laughs> I mean, cross-referencing and other yeah, bullshit. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll say passive perception wise, um, uh, Zal, you do see it looks like uh, Adriak is off in the distance uh, by the door that you guys aren't supposed to head to, and uh, you kind of meet eyes momentarily, uh, and he, he looks unrested. Oh, Adriac does. Yeah. If you yeah. want to roll an insight check, you you make it. You may get more information than that. Sure. Sure, I will do that. Okay. Ooh. Insight seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So Adriac, with a seventeen, what does he get? Uh, with a 17? I mean, you've seen Adriac after having a nightmare before, and yeah. If you were to ask him if he's okay, he'd say yes, and he'd, he'd be lying. <laughs> um, right, you know well, that. I'll kind of gesture Adriac over to maybe to maybe sit down with me for for a second and we'll say this is after you've gotten all this information as well yeah i was actually going to to specify to see if, if that was the case yeah. um but yeah that that would kind of be why so uh you see zol just kind of gesture kindly like is not staring you down because you're touching the no no door um, <laughs> <laughs> but you know is is actually to be honest probably to your surprise doesn't even seem to care that you're by the no no door um but but gestures you over with with a pretty just like kind of curious look or you could kind of tell that he he has some ideas his brain is working okay adrian's gonna look back at the door as if pondering one more time and then head over to fall <clears throat> and it's all sitting over in like the couchy area yeah, yeah, he's probably over on one of these. Sure, you can move your characters if you want. Oh shit, I forgot we had physical things to move around. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say probably like right here. Although I guess couches don't work for Zal either. He just <laughs> floats over them. That's right. Well, I was about to say, you, you've ever seen a, a picture of a really big dog sitting on the couch with their hind legs and their front legs still touch the floor? That's yeah. what Daedrax doing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Um, okay, so Adriac will come over and, and Zal will... Zal will just... Uh... We'll start off with... Um... I know what you look like when you've had a nightmare before and it's disturbed your rest. Um, now that, I mean, everything is pretty much in the open at this point. Do you want to tell me about it? I've been doing some research. I might have a little bit more insight into this situation than previously. Okay. Um... Edric will uh, pause for, you know, just a moment to try to remember the details of the dream, because dreams are like that. What? Yep. I was in a desert. I... <sighs> Doggo. <laughs> um... <laughs> 
I was in a desert in a city and I think I was fond of someone there but they rejected me and I murdered them just huh. right they turned around and I just jumped them that uh sounds about right I'm, I'm assuming on that description I Zal would probably be able to put two and two together yeah um uh over that well um funny uh as it may be I was doing research one of the topics specifically was Indrith to try to learn a little bit more about your condition I guess is what we could call it um that actually sounds like something I just read uh, where Indrith herself actually fell in love with a prince of a desert kingdom and he rejected her and she slit his throat so seems to add up yeah a little bit Are your do your nightmares tend to be from that different perspective, or are they like? Are there many different perspectives? Are you able to tell? Um, would Adriac be able to tell? Because I think up until now, most of the dreams have been from his perspective. Uh, yes, it's definitely new that you're getting actual memories of these past lives. In fact, you're pretty sure. No, no, no I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you that much detail. But you're 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 sure that you were a female, um, uh, human-ish female. Right. Well, up until now, the nightmares have been from my own perspective of things that may or may not have happened. Um, this is the first time really I've dreamt of being someone else. It is really weird to have two legs. I'm just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the uh, same way when I only have, you know, when I got to only have one arm. <laughs> uh, it's an adjustment and hopefully you never have to get used to it because hopefully these dreams will stop. Uh, give me a second, I'm taking notes, but I do have more questions for Adriac. Yay! <laughs> You're having some major late issues. Oh no. Yeah. Do you want me to hold off for a second? Uh, but, I mean, it's recording fine. It just twitches me a little. Funny. Yeah, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's... Twitch is uh, struggling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop the stream real quick and then reboot it and see if it helps. I think our internet just blipped. Did it? Yeah, I was having problem loading a, a page. Yeah, I, see, I keep seeing your guys' ping like shoot up every now and again.
think it's back. Oh. Okay. Okay, we're back. Yeah, we're back. Ooh. Well, uh, it's still really unstable, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, let's just keep it going. Like, I'm still recording it, so if anybody really wants to see what's going on, they can watch it on YouTube. Great. Um, okay. Uh, the next question. Oh, okay. So you basically told me that it's this is new seeing it from the perspective that you did. Normally, they're from your perspective. Okay. Well, I wonder if having the full spirit of Indrith within you is starting to cause some different behavior, which is to an extent both satisfying, but also kind of scary. Uh, A little bit. Yeah. Um, well, uh, just to just, just sort of give you a little bit more context, after Indrith um sliced the prince's throat she was hunted down burned at the stake and then she placed a curse upon the red star so that her soul should never vanish um and i'm assuming that is what you and your sister have apparently fallen prey to um did i i i I'm assuming, since I got all of the information, you did not tell me this, that there were no specifics to what the curse that Indrith placed were on the star, that just she placed one, and I'm kind of left to assume that this must be what it is. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, w w which is fair, which is fair. <laughs> just double check it. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, assuming that the curse I read about in the books is well this so congratulations <laughs> puts a puts like a hand on your shoulder was any of that supposed to make me feel better <laughs> no not really um, okay but I do have something to fight back with. Um, while really all of that was me confirming that sort of the root cause where this all began. And, um, you know, there there is more history as to how Indrith became uh, or came to the mortal plane and all of that, but that doesn't really matter that much. Um, I do believe I have found a couple of potential ways to help your situation. One of which may completely solve the issue itself. But I have little information on it, and at the moment is, you know, a little far-fetched but apparently plausible to remove the spirit of Indrith from you. Now that okay. is supposed to make you feel a little better. Okay. Um, what is it? <laughs> I'm, I'm, as far as I know, currently, it's some relic that exists that apparently can separate anything um obviously a very vague description but it is now on my radar which means i can now do more research on it which means that we can hopefully track it down which we may be in the market of doing since we've learned a little bit of some other relics this might even be one of them but of course first we will still want to visit autumn snow and see what she has to say but it exists, apparently. So. Uh, <laughs> For the time being, I think it may be best that when you sleep, we encircle you with salt, as it may help keep you from leaving. 
maybe we should test that while I'm awake first. I guess so, but if you're not currently being possessed by the spirit, I'm not sure if the salt will really have an effect. But sure, if we want to dump a few pounds of salt on the ground just for funsies, who am I to <laughs> decline? <laughs> But uh... I mean, you already cuff yourself while you're sleeping. I don't think pouring some salt around you would be that intrusive. Now, does Adric feel like he's constantly um, dealing with this presence, or...? It feels like there's definitely something there. Right. Um. Uh, I might not currently be controlled by Indris, but it still still feels like she's here. Right. Interesting. Um, well, we can uh, figure this out with some time. Um, of course, my fear is that now having the full spirit within you um, may make urges and things worse at night. You know, it just depends. But we can have, there are multiple avenues we can have Kogara keep a watch at your door. Um, to, you know, leave you privacy but still know if something happens at night. Um, or we can try the salt, or you could keep cuffing yourself to the bed if you're into that. Which, uh, you know, I kind of picked up that vibe. Um, <laughs> oh not my judging, god. Not, prop, not, uh, not judging to each present. their own. Um, <laughs> but I, I just, I figured I would mention that I did find at least one other way that we might be able to mitigate the consequences of the possession that right. you are currently under. Thank you. I um, don't think I've had a chance to thank you yet for anything you've done, so thank you. You're more than welcome, and it's Nobody deserves to deal with the shit that you have dealt with. So I'm more than happy that I was able to lend assistance and that apparently uh, I am still able to lend some. So hopefully we'll be able to help get this figured out for you so that you can not fear sweet, sweet slumber. <laughs> <laughs> I know I, I know you love it so much. I do. All I want to uh, do is sleep. He he kind of pats pats your your shoulder uh you know gently nicely very friendly like uh you're you're my pal kind of a way. <laughs> it's, that's, uh, yeah. Well, I'm uh I'm going to get back to the books. There are a number of other things that I uh, am planning to research and uh Feel free to go poke the door some more, I guess. Just try not to anger our hosts. He He's would have going. said the thing about the door quietly, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I might try to find somewhere to actually set up to sleep for the night. Yeah, I would maybe try to look for June. It seems he headed out and has, has been out really the entire time you've been asleep, so it's possible that he may have already found um, a place for us to hole up for our time here. Alright. He can't be that hard to find, can he? Not with that giant axe on his back, he can't. <laughs> Uh, question, I actually don't remember. When June paid for rooms, did he just pay for a room for himself? Or did he, like, get a couple of rooms? I don't remember. 
Uh, that was the price for one room. I mean, it could have multiple beds in it, but yeah, that was just one room. Well, you didn't really, like, give me any specifications, so I just assumed that that was enough for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are bumping we'll it work. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll make it work, I guess. Adriac shows up and is like, yeah, hey, so you might have somewhere for us to sleep. Oh, sorry. I just have the one room. <laughs> Um, Sleepover. <laughs> what is June doing in the meantime? Um, June is looking around for even more stuff. Um, looking at bars, looking at people, looking at things to do, getting an itching to either fuck someone up or or fuck someone <laughs> or fuck someone. <laughs> just, those are just those are the two yep. options. <laughs> He's he keeps getting fucking teased every time he goes somewhere, and then something happens, and then he leaves. <laughs> That's fair. Um, okay, uh, let's see. So, uh, looking around the sites of Olfell, um, you eventually find your way into kind of a a public uh, place. Um, we'll say it's like a, a spa of some sorts. You find your way to a spa, Boy. and it sounds uh -huh. really good. You are still caked in blood. I sure fucking um, am. <laughs> and uh, we'll say some um, elven attendants, very beautiful elven attendants, um, of whatever persuasion that you want them to be, um, uh, will um, definitely take care of out. all of your needs. What'd you say? I said it's always fucking elves. It, it, it's an elven city. So. Oh my god. A bunch of prissy <laughs> assholes. Yes. But they're very good at pampering you. Which Speak for yourself. It, 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 we'll say if you want to get uh, the, the full treatment, uh, <laughs> which is like everything, uh, we'll say it's about five gold. And that, okay. that includes, like, you know, spa, that includes a mani-pedi, uh, <laughs> like a trim, uh, that, that includes, like, you know, companionship, <laughs> uh, whatever you want. <laughs> you are thoroughly taken so, care of. So he'll pay for the whole package, All right. but, <laughs> however... <laughs> however... <laughs> however. <laughs> He's very picky. <laughs> okay. Um, and if it's just if it's just, if it's it's just some elf who's like you know they're very elegant and whatever, he's yeah. just gonna talk to them. Um, so there are several elf companions to up. choose from. So oh, okay. uh, they, they, uh, of multiple different races, uh, there are quite a bit of elves because that's kind of an exotic thing that people mm -hmm. come to Old Elf for. Um, but there are other races too, and you actually find. Um, one particular um, race of it's this uh, it's this water dwelling uh, race um, with a long almost uh, merfolk like tail um, a completely oh. bluish skin with uh, fins where the ears would be um, gills at the sides of, of their necks um, and um, further further research it's a, it's a specific breed of triton um, oh, that, that comes from descendants of merfolk and tritons um, but very exotic um, it, it, that's going to cost you a little bit extra if you want that companionship um, but yeah there's also a multitude of different races um, dwarves, elves uh, dragonborn, humans um, they have the rough gruff type if you're into that like a bear sort of kind of person or if you're more into the soft delicate kind of person they have that too uh, of any gender you can most, think of the most like roughest looking guy at the guy <laughs> okay so we're talking um what what's his name the lone wolf from divinity <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> fucking um he's so cute uh, though. <laughs> I love him. he's so great you know what it's i'm like talking Yifan. about uh Kai. yeah yeah uh, it's ifan yeah ifan yeah ifan yeah it's Yifan Bemez. so <laughs> um so you have a fun afternoon uh well it would be evening nice. at that point uh and you are thoroughly taken care of fantastic so, so while that is going on what is adriac doing after your conversation Mm -hmm. 
Adric is torn because he doesn't want to go to sleep right now, but he also wants to go to sleep right now because he's fucking tired. Sure. And he doesn't want to go out in public, but that's where June went. <laughs> Asshole. He ain't fucking sticking around in a goddamn library. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Um, Edric will do, 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 do. Yeah, he'll he'll try to go find June. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Considering June is having fun times. Is Adriac gonna have some fun times too? I don't know if Adriac has any money on him. I have all the money right now. Yeah, well, go go find June and just be like, June, pst, June, hey. <laughs> Give me your fucking money. <laughs> money I, so I, can have I have stacks. four gold and 20 silver. So <laughs> I can't afford something with that, I guess. So you Not go find... spending all our money on bitches and hoes. <laughs> what exactly are you are you looking for, Adriac? I'm looking for June. Okay, make an investigation <laughs> roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Luckily, it's not at a disadvantage because it's a fucking Genasi. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. June doesn't really do anything to, like, not stand out, so. <laughs> are you going to roll or are you just going to sit there? I just want to sit here. Yeah, I watched your, I watched both of your guys' ping just, like, shoot up when you oh, tried. Oh, yeah, dude. Our, we're doing really uh, bad. 12. So it takes a good hour or two, but eventually um, you do find a very pleased looking uh, Adriac who looks. Uh, very June, pleased looking sorry, June. Sorry, June. Uh, very pleased looking <laughs> June who looks uh, very pampered, uh, absolutely clean, but the hair is still a little bit wet. <laughs> um, and. Uh, down, yeah. by the way. He actually hasn't put it back up. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so you find very him. Long. Uh, probably heading in the direction of a park-like area. Okay, where did you come from? Because you look like you enjoyed yourself. Oh, it was to die for. You want me to go back? We can both go back. <laughs> okay. Would <laughs> <laughs> you will take him back to the spa? <laughs> Full package part two? Ten more yes! <laughs> do you want our own separate things or do you want to get in it together? Ooh. June will ask that. <sighs> Me as a player can't figure out what he'd say. <laughs> Our two salacious men of the group is having yep. a great time while Zal is hard at work trying yep. to to plan and figure out All what's business. going on. And like, <laughs> yeah. So you didn't you didn't anyway. ask. It's we fine. we appreciate you though. Yeah. Again, I'm pretty, like you know I'm. Shit, that scared me. Tina came in through the sliding door. And it just sounded like a small avalanche. And I was like, oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> She's trying to get the dog to listen. So what does Adriac respond? Yes. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so what are the fates of black over there? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Next topic. What are you researching now? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm researching sex and the uncontrollable wiles and urges of um, men who cannot pay attention. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I have no interest in that. Um, the next one. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? It is between. It's between the secundus and the words of power. Okay. I, th I think I think I have to go with words of power sure. because I feel like that is obviously the secundus are tied to those, but I think those are a little bit more relevant sure. to 
kind of you know what we're pursuing um so same thing kind of intelligence uh check but with my proficiency modifier yes same deal okay i will roll the die of course of course i got a six plus six is a twelve i got a twelve for the first four hours you find nothing on the words of power do you want to try again uh, we'll let that sit. I, I have uh, some information already on the words of power, sure. so I'm not going to be super, super duper picky. Oh, shit. What did I do? I did a thing. Hold on. Oh, fuck. It's okay. Um. So the next thing I will research, I'm going to... I'm going to research my sky rock. Okay. This is my sky rock. It's Obanite. Yeah, Obanite. I'm sure you guys have told us all that, but yeah. I, it's the sky rock. <laughs> He's like, sure, Obanite, right, whatever. I mean, like, I'll potatoes, remember that. Potatoes. But it's, yeah, it's sky it's rock. Sky rock yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a rock that came from the sky, Obanite or not. Okay, uh, go ahead and make another roll. Uh, yeah, go ahead and roll the dice. It's like this whole game is based off of these rolls or something. Are you kidding me? Oh no. There is no information on Skyrocks yeah. anywhere. Would what? you like to I, ask I, one of the librarians about it? You don't find any books on your own. Maybe. I, I, I imagine I'm getting tired. Four hours looking for books yeah. For <laughs> you you Did will I spend say the full four hours. We'll say you spent a good two and a half, almost three hours looking. You could not find a single book on any of the different okay. levels of this. Yeah, uh, I will. I will ask a librarian. Okay. Uh, so you I find a friend. <laughs> you find uh, a librarian, and uh, it, it's a. Uh, um, an elderly looking man um uh an elf uh, as well uh long brown hair uh, with hazel eyes and uh very fair features um a little elderly so he's probably up in his years so he might have some information he's probably over 500 600 years old because he's an elf um, yeah. And he's wearing the same librarian garbs that you're used to seeing around here. And uh, he is uh, just kind of uh, has one of the carts of the la of the uh, full of books and he's putting some of them back. Um, I will approach him, uh, you know, adeptly. I'm not, not like stomping around or anything and just be like, um, excuse me, do you... Yeah. Yeah, do you perhaps uh, know of any books within the library about uh, a skyrock called Obanite? And he uh, he turns around and he's like, he meets your chest first and goes, "Oh, um, hello there." Um, <laughs> Obanite. Yeah, yes, yes, I am. I am familiar with uh, such material. Um, what exactly are you wishing to know? Um, what it, what it is, what it does, where it comes from, what you can do with it. Um, sure, sure. How rare it is, like why, I've only heard rumors and stories, but, you know, why assassin organizations might be interested in stealing or procuring <laughs> assassin organizations yeah just rumors and stories you know you right. travel around R rumors I... <laughs> I am of a, a wandering tribe you know we get around to different cities sure sure it's probably not assassin organizations but that's what the stories say oh, oh, you, of, you course, know, of course of course it's exaggeration make a persuasion check <laughs> Okay. Hey, I actually am supposed to be good at these. Wow! Wow! The dice agree with you. <laughs> the dice agree with me for once. Um, persuasion? <laughs> My persuasion is... Uh, so that brings it to a 22. Okay. Uh, 22. So, 
Uh, yes, uh, so Overnight, um, or Skyrox, as uh, many of the Skyadi people call it, um, <laughs> is, <laughs> it, it, it is from uh, the moon of, uh, of Obis, as I'm sure you probably assumed. Um, during the, the fights in the Divine Wars, like, yes. between, uh, uh, between Arith- uh, sorry, uh, oh my god, my head, Hextor and Hyrodius, the two, uh, Celestial Brothers, they actually destroyed the second moon of Orth, known as Rivas. And during that impact, it jostled pieces and chunks of Obis in the process, and every once in a while, a piece will make its way uh, through the atmosphere of Orth and land um, in, you know, on the surface world. Uh, there is a, a certain property with uh, this material, and it has this ambient glow about it that can almost replace uh, torchlight, actually. And, um, he just sees Zal put his hand like over his bag to make sure no light is like leaking out of it. <laughs> and just... he he doesn't seem to pay any attention. And uh, okay. he and uh, it's actually very sought after by enchanters uh, as well. Uh, they it's it's a lot of the times magical equipment will require um, exquisitely crafted. Uh, objects to become enchanted. It has to have the 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 effort and blood and sweat of a, of an experienced crafter in order to be ready to host the arcane prowess of uh, of those magics. Well, Overnight always has that property, so it's easier for an arcane enchanter to enchant uh, that item. Um, but yes, that's uh, essentially everything I know about Overnight. Uh, now, exactly what is your interest? Have you, have you found any? No, I just... No, I've, I've heard there was um, a meteor strike not too long ago um, down where we're from, and I don't know if you heard. We made our, our way a little farther north than we intended. But... Um, there was a, a meteor strike, and I did approach curiously, but had found that there was already uh, excavation set up, and I had just heard that, you know, Obanite was part of, you know, what they were looking for, uh, and became curious as to what it was, and, uh, you know, decided to look into it. That was really the push over the edge. I mean, I had, I had heard of it be discussed before, but just didn't take any note. Very well, uh... Make a deception check. Oh, fuck you. You are trying to deceive him. That was he, uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. maybe. Natural 20! Oh my god. <laughs> Why not this? I just needed a 15. Because I okay. saw your... Oh, well, actually, I don't know his stats, so maybe I needed more. But <laughs> Nat 20 will do it, I'm sure. And uh, he's... Well, that, that's a shame, because we're always looking for such materials and always willing to pay a handsome, handsome sum for such a material, that is for sure. And only for its enchanting prowess, or are there... Oh, no, no, uh, there are several, uh, several organizations and faiths across the earth that actually look upon it as a holy such relic. There is uh there was this ancient organization actually known as the uh the um uh what are, what were they called uh the the Obis Knights are those the fucking assassins? Mm -hmm. Do you say that? No, well no, this is out of character. I'm just like confirming. Maybe. Well, we we ran into them before. Like... Well, I don't think. I think only June knew that they were assassins. Was no, it June? No, you, no just, it was... you described a symbol because this was the thing that Zook didn't really want to tell me, but he did because I That's rolled right. well or something. Yep. yep. Oh, or okay. So, well, so I remember is... there was something that June learned after it, we, the dude, was after June caught the guy yes. or the person. You saw the symbol. That is right. 
Yes. You did see and, the and symbol. You June. told you told me about it, and then I did like a history check or something to figure out like if I knew what it was from mm -hmm. or something like that. But yeah, so so the Obis Knights were the assassins. Yeah. Yeah, the Obis assassins. Okay. It, it's an ancient order of assassins that have worked under the light of the full moon called the Obis Assassins. It is a worldwide order with no specific allegiance uh, with any culture. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so that would maybe explain why the assassin was after my Skyrock. <laughs> Are the cameras frozen? Not on my screen. They're on the stream stream. Oh, well, the stream stream yeah, is like it's just, just fucked at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so so he said that. Uh, question: Is this stuff stuff that is written down that you're telling me, or yes. should I be noted? Yep. Okay. Thank goodness, because I you I got was information listening. through role play, luckily. Okay. okay, that's what I figured was going on. But uh, so the so he basically said that. Obanite is something also coveted by certain religious factions and that the Obis Knights are one such faction, or there are rumors that they exist and are one such faction that yes. would would look at it as such. Okay. What is... Hang on just a second, I need to check something. Sure. Okay. Um... Because of your bitching passive investigation, um, you're, as he's talking to you, there is a shimmer um, in, in his face. And for a moment, rather than the pale, light, fair skin of the elf in front of you, uh, there is a moment where it's a dark purple. And then it fades back. Oh, shit. No. Hmm. No, uh, I don't see any like symbols or anything on him. I don't see. D did June tell me? I don't remember. I mean, we know that the Obis assassin that we saw was a was a dark drow. Elf, correct? Yes, yep. yeah, he was, was a drow. drow. Yep. And so I see through an illusion. I'm assuming yes, that and it's a drow in front of you. And he did not look old in that little glimpse. Oh boy! And uh, uh, yeah, he no, would you, would, you would have seen since you were looking right at him. He had a clasp around his neck that had that same symbol. Oh, interesting. I'm really okay. Now I'm starting to get really glad I rolled a nat twenty on that deception check. <laughs> now I'm really fucking glad about that. Um, oh, what to do? This is an interesting opportunity. I punch him in the face. Now I'm just. Kidding. Oh, I'm old. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just this Goliath fucking smashing an old man's face. Poor guy. Well, he's not really one, but everybody would see it as such. Um, uh, <laughs> I have now become frozen as a player. I am startled. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't think anything's gonna gonna come from that. Um. Let me actually, was it, and I'm asking only because it might be quicker, but the Obis Assassins, um, I heard, I heard about them from Valdrog, apparently. Yes. Um, it, it, just, okay, so I heard about it from Valdrog, but is, is it, are the Obis Assassins or the Obis Knights, um, things that I generally also hear just rumors and stories about? Like, is uh, it, like, kind of a known thing, or is it a pretty, like, closed off... It's, it's, I mean, this guy knows about them, but... Like, there are rumors of these right. these people, like, it, it, but, yeah. like, they're, they're like, boogeyman stories, you know? Or, like, right. the Illuminati, you know, where no one really yeah. takes it seriously. Gotcha, okay. Okay, but, but, like, if I were to... Basically, what I'm trying to do is just figure out, like how i'm trying to get a feel myself for how weird it would be for us all to sort of be pushing that question like questions about the obis knights sure. or, or whatever yeah. but um because obviously if it was very small knowledge it would be really weird for somebody to take a, a vested interest um 
do you you bringing up the Obis Knights um, they're also an entity that has you know as I said I travel around and I hear lots of rumors and things and they pique my interest and the Obis Knights are just something I'm casually looking into do you have any specific information or just stories I mean we all know that they probably don't really exist but uh, you know it's just it's a fun fun tale to kind of delve into if you don't mind me asking well, uh, most of their tomes are actually locked behind uh, that door over there. If you would like, I could, with supervision uh, from myself, of course, I could take you there, and uh, we could discuss it further, and I could show you some. This scares me. You're all alone um, because June and Adrian I, are having sex. I know. <laughs> 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 You're over here, like, probably in danger, and we're over here, like, having the time of our fucking lives. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a question. I have obviously seen that this person's robes are similar to those of a Aotha Winds. Yeah. I think was his, was his full name. But do, do I get the note that Oetha Wind is maybe of a higher station than this librarian? Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay. The <laughs> Good. No, I will say, <laughs> while while I do appreciate the offer, it is very intriguing. I'm, I know both of my friends were very interested in what's on the other side of the door. Oethawin specifically um, told us not to go over there. So without, I just wouldn't feel right without his permission. To sure, sure. Cross absolutely. the threshold since we are, you know, not of the city, and I don't know what's back. There, oh, would you like me to get, go get him? Um. <laughs> maybe a different day i do have a couple right. more things queued up that i want to uh look into but i appreciate it i might take you up on that uh, uh maybe tomorrow or the absolutely next uh because you kind of know some information that this guy isn't what he seems i'm gonna have you roll a deception check just to kind of keep your cool that you're <laughs> not like you know like dodging this he did yeah. roll on that 20 the, the first time. I did roll on that 20 the oh, first oh, time. Oh, you know what? I will allow you to keep that nat 20 so he does not think anything of it. You are absolutely Thank correct. I, I will allow that. But we'll oh ignore that 10 that you just rolled. <laughs> well, let's see. With the 10 that I rolled, it would have been a 13, which isn't terrible. great. Not, but it's, it's not terrible. Not terrible. Well, that was the question, though, is would you have been, just and this is random curiosity, would you have had him keep his 14 uh, sort of insight check on me? Uh, I would have had him re-roll insight. You would have had him re-roll. Okay, well, yeah. whatever. We're doing the nat 20 thing anyway, so it's okay. fine. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm playing it super cool. Uh, very well. Well, as long as you're staying in Ofa for a little while, if you come back and change your mind. Perhaps we could speak with Aelthawin and uh, I'm more than willing to pick your brain a little mm -hmm. bit about more on this subject, so. I'm sure he is. Sure, likewise. likewise. Theadril, <laughs> by the way. Zal. So, uh, Theadril. Uh, so, T-H-A-A-D-R-I-L. Theadril. Uh, oh, I don't even know where to put this in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so there's my little research section. Um, meets the. I'm sorry. How did you spell that? I was. I just said it in chat. Out. Oh, did you put it? Okay. Yep. Say Adriel. Okay. So T H K A D R I L. <laughs> oh shit, motherfucker! My brain is like fucked now. So that's great. I got a lot of cool information though, and actually kind of hit because the assassins was also one of the things that I was interested in researching. Um, so, uh, who's under an illusion and is a part of the Obis Knights? Tries to coax me into I decline skillfully. Um, okie dokie, so most of the tones are on the other side of the cool. Um, cool, that's some cool information. I'm assuming, I think that's a, 
about uh, I guess about as far as much time as I have in a, in a day to really look into stuff if yeah. I remember because that would be yeah. three total four hour shifts or I guess maybe I'd be able to do one more for 16 hours correct? Sure yeah if you wanted to yeah and, and that's not going to inhibit like no no you're not anymore. exhausted yet um, okay. Do you want to relook up the worlds of power or the Secundus? Uh, what yeah, else? yeah. So that that is pretty much what I would probably be doing because I only have like three other things. I'm not sure. as interested in Hades anymore because yeah. I got some information on that. Um, probably the words of power. I try to do another thing. Could I en enlist the uh, the help of another librarian more so to try to assist me to find proper? Sure, books? I will give you advantage on it. You will get help. It awesome, will use the awesome, help awesome. action. Why have I not done that every time I rolled? <laughs> I even specifically fucking thought about it too, because I also know what li librarians' jobs are, because I work with them. Shut up. Librarians. Librarians. Oh, librarians. Yeah, they're, all their names are Brian. <laughs> okay, so a 16. And this is investigation, right? Uh, this would be uh, intelligence plus. This uh, the intelligence plus. Yes. The yeah. Yep. So, so six oh, it's roll. the same thing. The same thing as investigation would be. So that is a 22. 22. All right. Uh, so you find uh, several books on the words of power. Um, you find that they uh, were the first spoken words uh, that were developed by the Secundus, um, uh, which is the an ancient race of uh, sentient beings uh, that is labeled as the first sentient race. Um, that and that these words could actually manipulate the fabric of creation itself. Um, they were so powerful that uh, when they were written down, they were forged into medallions and uh, used to safeguard the actual fabric of creation uh, from being too heavily manipulated. Um, several of these words and medallions were actually fashioned into separate artifacts, which are called the relics of Akrid. Um, one such artifact is said to be in possession of the High King of Hroth, uh, in the form of chronometer, uh, which, and another is in the form of a bullseye lantern that is held on the ancestral bridge, uh, protected by a powerful Oni. Uh, another is in the possession of an extra planar being beneath the, uh, Makilava Mountains, uh, oh. east of Water's Edge, uh, and Do I another... Know what that relic looks like? Uh, no, it just says that no, okay. one just such that. relic. Yeah, it just mentions it. it okay. uh, another is was gifted to the giant folk and kept safe in the northern jungles of Makialava. And oh, another boy. kept by <laughs> the dwarves of uh, Farnstor, uh, Farnster and uh, lost, uh, and the rest were said to be lost to time. Um, it, These are the rings, aren't they? <laughs> uh, but many of them were also uh, basically... Uh, the medallions originally were supposed to safeguard uh, the the dimensions in, in the fabric of creation, uh, and you find a gateway that uh, a picture of a gateway that looks very familiar from the first game. Uh -oh. uh, one such gateway that was exploded, um, and basically, without the presence of uh, of the medallions on this gateway, it is said that the fabric of reality, the different planes, would begin to fold in on each other. And that's basically where wild magic comes from. Um, and you remember going there, and there were no medallions. And if these medallions were forged into relics, two and two together, that might be what's happening. So in other words, without the presence of these medallions, Orth is in trouble right now. Um, and yeah. you find another picture of a very familiar looking amulet that you found um, on, uh, on Calliope. The same amulet oh, that you guys obtained. Mm -hmm. And underneath it just said, um, an illustration of second chances. Second chances? Second chances is what it was called. And that just just the medallion, that's what the medallion And it's got called. a so... picture of the same medallion. Which so you basically... see one of the runes, which you're guessing is yeah. one of the medallions. Okay, so we fucking have one. You right have a relic of Akrid in your possession right now. Motherfuck. What's the word on it? Is it Second Chances is the word? Uh, the, the, word? It, it, uh, the, the artifact is called Second Chances. The uh, word itself is, uh, it, there's some debate on what it actually means. Uh, it's either rebirth, life after death, or death itself. Um, I don't 
that. So you come to the conclusion that you are in possession of one of the relics of Akrid. And that is where we'll end tonight's episode because our oh, stream no! is going ballistic. And sure I think no. I think it would be a good idea to stop the stream here. Yeah. It's already yeah, 10 o'clock, so we still got some good game time in, but I wanna <laughs> I want to make sure we're we're doing good before we uh, dive into any more. Um, right. So since this was a shorter session, um, I'm going to. Do you think you guys could still get to five? Uh, yeah, five points. Probably. I know I, you can because like, yeah, but could everybody else? Because if not, um, I can limit it at three. I was gonna say maybe limit it since the other the right. two since, of us since didn't do a whole lot. June did was have sex, yeah. Like yeah. Half <laughs> or sleep. No, no, no. Adric also slept and had a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we will. Yeah, we'll we'll go into we'll limit it at three. Um, if for some chance chat can actually understand me because I know the stream is going crazy right now. Uh, we're doing the uh, what have you learned section. So if you've learned anything um, through the crappy internet connection that we have right now, I'll go ahead and post it in chat and you can net them more experience points. Um, so we will start with Evan since you've done the majority of the research this session. Uh, what have you learned? Oh, I've learned so many things. Um... <laughs> and you can keep stuff for next session too if you don't like get a chance to say all of them. Cool. cool. Um, well, we landed in a fucking library in Old Bell. Um, I thought we were actually in the uh, the Juniper Tower. Oh! But it turns out that we're all the way up in fucking Old Bell. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Kai, what have you learned? Uh, Adrian has learned that now he's starting to dream about other being other people. Yeah. June, what have you learned? And it can be stuff that, you know, uh, other people learn as well, so. Uh, June learned that the, uh, well, he learned that they're at the top of the fucking tower in all fell. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, um, sure. I, I mean, I'll, that... allow you, I'll allow that right there if you want to save whatever okay. you say next for the next round. Okay. <laughs> um, Zal, uh, Zal, what have you learned? Um,. That Olfell is one of the places that has some of the most detailed knowledge in the world. Very true. Idrak. Um. Idrak has also learned that the nightmare emotions are lingering far more than he would like them to. Right. <laughs> right. Um, uh, June, what have you learned? <clears throat> well, he learned that he didn't have to walk down the entire fucking tower <laughs> to get to the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He just yes. teleported him. Right? Alright, um, Zal, last one. Many of the mages that study at the College of Olfell uh, are normally considered for positions in the Scholars of Orith. Yes, very good. Idrak, last one. Um, Idrak has learned that a pair, well, Zal has technically learned that Adriac now, well, Adriac's sister had a uh, symbol of power. One of the relics of Ocrid. One of the relics of Ocrid, yep. Alright, uh, Jude, last one of the game. Um. I yeah, have a noodle. <laughs> well, he learned that the door is potentially trapped, the, tr the door that they, uh. Yes. <laughs> yep. They don't. They don't want, want people anyone to go entering. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I can only yeah. assume that it's. It's got a fucking <laughs> warded spell and Something. a retaliation spell. <laughs> I, have, I have so much more. I haven't even gotten. To I like know. I know. Um, we will. It's uh, fine. I don't, we'll I don't definitely pick it up, and you can save that for next game. Um, so yeah, yeah, everyone gets three um, checkpoints. Um, so go ahead and record that. 16. It's six. Yeah, I was gonna say it's sixteen to next level. Yeah. Um, so we, so have we currently have ten. Yeah. No, we should have eleven because we cap. Oh, oh yeah, recap. recap. Yep. Yep. Good job, Akai. Yay, nice I cap. helped. Okay, so uh, that is where we're ending tonight's episode. I am very sorry to my Twitch users who had to fight with the connection. It wasn't on your end, it was my end. I don't know what's going on with my internet. Um, if for whatever reason you want to see what actually happened, the recording still looks like it was recording okay, and it will be available on YouTube. Link to my YouTube channel is in the description below in the Twitch, and uh, you should be able to find it. It'll be one of the most recent videos, available most likely tomorrow or the day after. Um, so you can watch it after the, I think it was after like the hour and a half point, 
everything started to go to shit. So hopefully next week will be better than this one. I'm not sure what exactly caused it. Hopefully everything's resolved by next week. But thank you everyone so much for joining us. And uh, until next time, toodaloo. Bye. Bye. Bye.